You know, I was a kid when he died. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's not easy. It ain't easy for anybody. What we tell ourselves. You know what? Isn't that the way it goes? But so once in a while you just gotta get real with yourself and just go, you know what? That's not the way it feels. It feels like it just happened yesterday. What? What's the matter? <laughs> Nothing. I'm thinking about something. You know, it's... <laughs> when you get upset, it makes me upset. <laughs> yeah, me too. Sometimes songs and words will trigger me. I hate that term. I'm not triggered like a social, like a snowflake millennial. But I get triggered like... Something will remind me of something. <laughs> and I'll go, doggone it. That song's one of them. Remember that time when you left me for my best friend? I never did that. <laughs> Isn't that the way they say it goes? Now let's forget all that. Give me the number. la dee -de da da Operator, can you help me place this call? See the number on the matchbook is old and faded. She's living in L.A. with my best old ex-friend Ray. A guy that she said she knew once but almost hated. But isn't that the way they say it goes? Now let's forget all that. Give me the number if you can find it. And I can call just to tell them I'm fine and to show. I've overcome the blow, I've learned to take it well. I only wish my words could just convince myself that it just wasn't real. That's not a way. Operator, can you, operator, can you help me place a call? See, the number on the matchbook is old and faded. I can't do it. I can I only sing it. So it opens up with, okay, some of you young people, Carson gets this and we get this because we're from the old days. But back in the days of the grandfathers, you could pick up a telephone which was attached to the kitchen wall, dial zero, and a woman would get on the phone, she'd say, operator, and you could say, hi operator, will you please look up a phone number for me? The name is Joe Blow and he lives in Denver, Colorado or whatever. And she'd go, one moment please, and she'd look up the number and she'd say, would I, you like me to connect it for you? And you know, it was it was really a nice time before phones became what they are today. So this this story takes place back in the seventies when people had operators. So a guy calls the operator and he's like, "Operator, can you help me place this call? See the number on the matchbook is old and faded." That's another thing. What's that? People used to use matches to light their cigarettes. And you could write phone numbers on this cardboard match box. Or match, whatever. See the number on the matchbook is old and faded. She's living in L.A. with my best old ex-friend Ray. A guy that she said she knew once and almost hated. So he's got this faded number in the matchbox of this girl who's living in L.A. with his best old ex-friend, ex-friend, Ray. And it was a guy that she said she knew once, 
but she almost hated him. She was like, oh, I hate your friend, Ray. That guy sucks. Well, now they're living together in L.A. And, they're, and he and Ray are no longer friends. So something happened. But isn't that the way they say it goes? Now let's forget all that. And give me the number if you can find it. So I can call just to tell them my operator. Can you help me place this call? I can't read the number that you just gave me. There's something in my eye. You know that happens every time. I think about the love that I thought would save me. Isn't that the way they say it goes? Now let's forget all that And give me the number if you can find it Then I can call just to tell them I'm fine And to show I've overcome the blow I've learned to take it well I only wish my words could just convince myself That it just wasn't real that's not the way it feels No, no, no Give me the number if you can find Operator. it So I can call just to tell them I'm fine And to show I've overcome the blow, the blow I've learned to take it well I only wish my words could just convince myself That it just wasn't real but that's not the way it feels. So his girlfriend cheats on him with his best friend. And he wants to call up and say, hey, you know, this is not the way it goes. Sometimes your girlfriend's going to leave you for your best friend. And uh, he's just going to give him a call and say, hey, I've overcome that blow. I'm doing well. And he only wishes his words could convince himself. Yeah, Ray stole his girl. Some friend, huh? Says Infinity. Um, then he says, so the operator gives him the number and he goes, operator, can you help me place this call? I can't read the number that you just gave me. I can't read the number that you just gave me. There's something in my eye. Tears. You know it happens every time. I think about a love that I thought would save me. <laughs> Cries every time he thinks about it. But isn't that the way? Operator, let's forget about this call. There's no one there I really needed to talk to. Thank you for your time. You've been so much more than kind. You can keep the dime. But isn't that the way they say it goes? Now let's forget all that Give me the number if you can find it And I can call just to tell them I'm fine And to show I've overcome the blow I've learned to take it well I only wish my words could just convince myself That it just wasn't real But that's not the way it feels No, no that's not the way it feels No, no, no I if you can find it All right. And I can call just to tell him I'm fine and to show I've overcome the blow, I've learned to take it well. 
I only wish my words could just convince myself that it just wasn't real, sweetie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's not the way it feels. It don't feel that way. So finally, last stanza, he goes, Operator, let's forget about this call. There's no one there I really needed to talk to. <laughs> Just forget about it. There's no one I need to talk to. He kind of came to that realization that, uh, you know what? I don't need to do this. What's the point? Um, I needed to talk to. Thank you for your time. You've been so much more than kind. He thanks her for her time because he told her the whole story of this operator. And he's like, you've been so much more than kind. You can keep the dime. Oh, he was on a payphone. Yeah, he was on a payphone. And in the old days, back in the days of the grandfathers, it only cost 10 cents. But then isn't that the way they say it goes? Now let's forget all that. He's going to tell himself that it's okay. But <laughs> that's not the way it feels. Mm -hmm.